Hey everybody, uh, we're just having a little look at my T-bar and my gudgeon tank here. My gudgeon being that fish in the center bottom, the T-bar cichlid being the upper right hand corner, and then that school of fish in the middle is my Marcy rainbow fish. And I've been sitting here with the lights dimmed and I've got some of my other tanks covered up and I've been trying to just let the fish get back to their normal behavior rather than banging up against the glass because they see me in front of the tank and you can probably tell by the way that gudgeon's sitting there looking at me he can still tell I'm here and he's waiting for me to feed the tank um, but the rainbow fish are getting a little bit more back to normal and they're doing their sort of schooling swimming around the tank uh, and I suppose in a little bit here I can set up my other camera on the tripod and I can actually shoot some feeding video and uh, attach it to the end of this video but I just wanted to get a little bit of a look at this tank it's a really pretty tank I'm really enjoying it I really like the way it's starting to turn out the rainbow fish are just coloring up beautifully they are Marcy rainbow fish and I'm not exactly sure if that's the real name from them or that's a marketing name um, they're very similar to the Parkinson's rainbow fish and I'll just leave it at that as far as the way they're going to look when they get into their full adult colors but you can see they're already really starting to pop the black and the orange on the lower you know the back half of their body uh, is just really starting to brighten up and look fantastic uh, my t-bar has been in there uh, rooting around and digging in the sand so I made one change today if you see that plant in the back of the tank sort of up against the glass near the filter intake um, that was floating in there today so he must have dug it up and my filter was rattling and making noises and I wound up getting in there and pulling that apart and I'm still not really satisfied with it you can still hear it's making a lot of rattling noises uh, we are sitting right next to my brackish tank and my brackish tank is being treated for cyanobacteria at the moment so uh, we're getting some splashing and some bubbling noises going on off to our right here uh, but if you can hear that sort of rattling rumbling noise that is the filter on this tank and while I'm not worried about it not working I am you know it just bothers me it just annoys me hearing that rattly noisy filter so I ordered a, another uh, Sun Sun 304B filter uh, it's going to be here by the end of the week so I will be putting a new filter on this tank and it'll sort of change the feel for this tank a little bit. I'll have a lot less circulation on the surface like that. I'll have a lot less uh, water flowing around and uh, we'll see if it makes any difference on the way the fish swim around the tank. So you can tell the T-bar, I mean the uh, gudgeon there is getting a bit peckish. He's taking shots at some of the other fish. Uh, that's just instinctual behavior for him. He is a predatory fish. He's an ambush predator. Uh, they like to hide in the weeds, uh, which he does often. He lays up in these uh, plants I have in here, these temple plants, and waits for fish to swim overhead. Fortunately, these rainbow fish are getting too big for him, and I'm not too worried about them being eaten before. He did eat one. I started with seven, and uh, he got one within the first few days of being in the tank. It was the smallest one. Uh, since then, these have all grown considerably, and they're much larger than they were when I got them. So I'm not too worried about him bothering them anymore. And then, of course, the T-bar, who you can see hiding in the back there. Um, he's not a predatory fish, so I'm not really worried about him at all. He's a territorial fish, and he will chase people away if they get too close to his caves when he's down here. Uh, you can see all these mounds of sand that he's dug up and built uh, around this cave system down here. Um, so sometimes he will chase people away if they get too close. Uh, but he's not really the issue. It's the gudgeon that I worry about uh, taking shots at the other fish. Even if he can't swallow them, he may be able to actually damage them just by striking them in an attempt to eat them. So let me get my other camera set up and I will throw some freeze-dry krill in there and we'll get a little bit of a look at how that gudgeon sort of sneaks up underneath of his food and gulps it down real quickly. And of course we'll get to see the feeding frenzy caused by the rainbow fish. Uh, going willy-nilly every which way in the tank as the food swirls around. You know, some of this I sort of crumble and make into little bits so that the rainbow fish can get it more easily. And then some of it I leave in larger chunks for the T-bar 
and then some of it I actually leave in tacked all together, whole pieces of trim. And then that will often have the uh, gudgeon come up and gulp them down all in one swoop. The rainbow fish seem to like to feed off the surface but have no problem at all feeding out of the water column. They don't generally feed off the bottom. Uh, I have seen them pick one or two things up off the bottom once they get down there, but generally they do not. Uh, the T-bar, however, will go to the bottom and gulp things, and, uh, and the uh, gudgeon will as well. But the gudgeon usually prefers to come from underneath and hit stuff that's floating on the surface. He actually hits things so hard on the surface sometimes uh, that he splashes me in the face when I've got the lid open. So he's a really aggressive eater. Let's see if we can throw a couple more in there for him. I don't know whether he's got everything that was in there floating or not. bigger pieces in for him. Now I've never had any problems myself with the rainbow fish. I don't have a ton of experience with them. Uh, I do have one remaining threadfin rainbow fish upstairs. I used to have four. Uh, and I had a uh, Madagascan rainbow fish in my brackish tank for a few years. So I do have some experience with a couple different kinds of rainbow fish. Uh, but these I've only had for a few months now. And I have read multiple times that rainbow fish have unusually small throats compared to the size of their mouth. So you can actually run into issues where if you give them food that's too large for them, um, they can actually get it into their mouth, but then they can't swallow it and they can wind up having issues where it chokes them or something. Again, I've never had any issues personally. I've only read about this kind of stuff, but it is something to consider if you're thinking about getting rainbow fish. Uh, that is one of the uh, aspects that you have to be careful of when you're feeding them. So I've often wondered, you know, breaking up pieces of krill, uh, is that good or bad? I don't know. I've never had any issue with it. I've seen them take very large pieces of krill, and they seem to tear it apart and, and rip chunks of it off rather than try to gulp it down all at one time. I don't really know if they have sharp teeth or what. Again, I just I don't have a ton of experience with rainbow fish. I just thought they were uh, pretty fish, and I thought they'd go well with that gudgeon. Uh, so I picked them up one day and put them in there. I'm really happy I did. They're absolutely beautiful fish, and they're going to get considerably larger. They get about four to five inches when they're full grown. Uh, so we're not even close to seeing what they're really going to look like when they get uh, bigger and more colorful. So that should be great. And they are all males, so I don't know how that's going to work out. That may work out to mean that they don't color up as much as they should because there's no female for them to compete against or, you know, to compete for. Um, or the fact that it's all males and no females might cause even more coloration. So, you know, it would just be nothing but competition. I'm not sure how that's going to play out. From the amount of color I'm seeing so far, I'm not really worried about getting a female in there because it sure looks like the uh, males alone are going to be more than brightly colored. And uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to point out about the feeding them the krill and the coloration on these fish is you can see that the coloration on them is an orange and black sort of coloration. And whenever you buy food that is like color enhancing flakes or color enhancing pellets, the color enhancing aspect of it is krill will enhance the reds, oranges, and yellows. And there is a type of algae that actually enhances the blues and greens in fish. And those are both included in your color enhancing uh, fish foods. So with me feeding these guys krill once a day and then the other meal I feed them is actually the color enhancing uh, crisps from Marineland. And I really like those. I like those a lot. So everything they're getting is either color enhancing food or just straight up freeze dried krill uh, which the keratin in there or keratin in there I'm not sure which it is I think it's the keratin in there is actually what gives them that orange coloration and I think that uh, heavy diet of krill for these fish is really really going to make them pop uh, as they mature 
So that's just a nice little look at the tank. Again, nothing really specific on my mind. I've just done a little work on there today. I did a water change. I wiped the glass down. I uh, replanted that plant in the back, and I went ahead and made the decision to get a new filter on that tank. The upshot of that will also be that the Sun Sun filter comes with an internal UV filter, so I will be able to actually pull that internal uh, UV canister filter out of the back and give the uh, tank a little bit more open space and swimming room for the fish so that'll be good in more ways than one so that'll be later next week so if you're not already subscribed go ahead and do so uh, that way you won't miss it when i do actually do the video of getting the filter put on there and we'll see how much that changes the tank and so on and so forth i'm working on my brackish tank at the moment so you don't want to miss uh, how that's all going to turn out uh, so again if you're subscribed you won't miss any of that so thanks again for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm really, really growing. You know, this tank's really, really growing on me. I'm really getting to enjoy this tank a lot. So I hope you did too. And I will see you real soon on the next one. Thanks again for watching.